what I like to talk about here in this video. That simping truly is learned behavior. Okay. This group mentality, this hype mind bullshit, feminism, okay, soy boys, conservatism, liberalism, whatever kind of ism you want to call it. Even the religions, man, they're all learned behavior. So what, what, what exactly does that mean? What exactly does learned behavior mean? It means it's not fucking natural, man. It's not meant to be you, okay? So I'm on this quest. I'm on this quest of really helping people out, you know, unveil the real self, okay? And I don't believe that, you know, people are naturally evil. I don't, I don't believe that shit. You know, what I noticed growing up as a child is the people that have been abused, okay, the, the ones who are bullies in grade school or elementary school, whatever you want to call it in your country, the people who are bullies in grade school, in high school, in college, and in real life, they have been used and abused sometime in their life, you know, before they become bullies, before they became the way they are, they have been used and abused. You know, they've been tricked or whatever, man. And going your own way really means you're going to have to let go of some of the people that you grew up with, man. It is what it is, you know. That's why I'm leaving. When I say I'm leaving, I'm actually leaving my family. I'm actually leaving the, the people I knew, you know, who I grew up with. Actually, they came here in the States, and then I followed them all the way down here. Then I saw how fucking shitty it is down here, and I'm just leaving, you know, going back to the Philippines. And that's what it is. It is what it is, you know. It doesn't mean that I'm going to live at the place that I grew up in in the Philippines. I'm going to go somewhere else. I don't want to live around toxic people, man. And I want you to analyze the quotes I put up in this video and see how they relate to your life, okay? You don't have to agree with everything I say, but what I'm giving you is raw truth. What a lot of motivational coaches are giving you is happy, hairy bullshit, man. You know, imagine paradise kind of a uh, Bullshit, you know, uh, bulldog bullshit mindset, man. That's, that, that guy is a simp. That guy, that, that fucking, uh, what, what the hell is his name? Freaking, look, look at the way he stands and shit. Look at the way he talks and shit, man. No sign of masculinity. Oh, the only thing that he fucking shows is his fucking, the medals that he had from fucking, Running uh, mediocre races and shit. Selling fucking his stupid ass programming courses. That over fucking, is over fucking priced and shit. 200 bucks for a fucking course. What the fuck is that shit? I can learn, I can learn all that shit from YouTube. I can learn how to code in Java in YouTube. I can learn programming online. I learned it actually in one week, you know accelerated because I, I know I know the way I learned I analyzed myself I diagnosed I self diagnosed myself self aptitude myself so I'm actually able to learn boom 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 skills this, this quickly I wanted to learn how to cook I didn't go to YouTube to learn how to cook I experimented I exerted my creativity in the kitchen and look at the, the the type of cooking that I have it upgraded man I've been cooking for years now, see? But the first day I learned how to cook, I was already freestyling. I was sensing, I was using my INFJ intuition. I'm trying to intuit cooking, okay? When you try to intuit something, you get more control of, of that thing that you're trying to learn. Same way with guitar playing, okay? I learned how to play guitar. Something like uh, two weeks. Okay, two weeks, I already got the, uh, the chords down, already got several songs under my belt, you know, 
But learning songs is just memorization when it comes to guitar. You need to be able to break the uh, the paradigm, the normal paradigm of memorizing chords and tablatures and shit, and come up with something new. Okay, come up with something new. Come up with something new and original. You know, so you, you can have something that is yours. Okay, so that way, okay, that way, uh, if you make music like I did back in the past, but the, these motherfuckers like. I had a notebook full of songs before, man. Freaking chords and, you know, lyrics that I created. I even have poems that I written back in the day, but these idiots, they, they want to, you know, they wanted to, uh, they wanted to change the way I think. Okay, they, they, they're jealous because they're not creative themselves. They're already brainwashed into the system. They are programmed to be robots, automatons, like acting like apps and shit, memorizing things and just regurgitating. But they're so, so, so jealous of me. I was a child back then. I was in, you know, grade school. I was in high school. I was a young man and, you know, they don't want me progressing in life, okay? They don't want me self-actualizing. That's what it is. So, you know, so the military was my escape. It was, it was the only plan I got. Okay, there is no other way that I could escape these motherfuckers. So I fucking I made the right decision. You know, I don't give a damn if these motherfuckers die too. Like, why, why the fuck would I would I care? Like, why why do you care about toxic people dying, man? I don't care if they're your family. You know, I'm not saying wish them death or anything. But what I'm saying is, they do toxic things. They eat crap. They eat bullshit. They stress out over the smallest shit, you know. They concern themselves with destruction. They're trying to destroy you. Your mentality, your mindset, and everything. And, you know, you're out here to care for them. You're out here to give a damn about them. Fuck that shit, man. That's not the definition of masculinity. That, that's fucking simping. That's soy boy shit. And the other thing I like to talk about here in this video is stop worrying about what other people think about you, man. Stop worrying about what other people say about you or think about you. You know, I used to think that way because all of us, okay, I'm, I'm going to admit it, okay, I'm going to admit it. All of us, you know, westernized countries, basically, uh, you know, uh, Countries with a capitalist bent, okay? Well, basically just westernized, okay? We are conditioned to simp. That, that's what it is. We are conditioned to simp, man. Like I said before, you know, your preacher, your priest, Your parents, your pastor, your imam, your guru, your shifu, sifu or shifu, whatever you want to call them, your karate instructor, your you know your mentors. They, they will never tell you this because they want you to submit to the simp stem, Okay, they want you to submit to the simp stem. They want you to become a simp. A simp is somebody who's gullible, is just acts like an app, you know, memorize shit regurgitate shit. It doesn't matter if you're a fucking scientist. It doesn't matter if you're a fucking math, uh, math major or some shit. It doesn't make you fucking quote-unquote smart. It just means that you can follow directions. It just means that you can follow the status quo, what they're telling you to follow and shit. You know, that, that's what it is. And I told you, okay, let me explain a little bit more on this. Okay? It's embedded. Okay, the brainwashing is embedded in the mathematics and the scientific departments, the way they teach, it's the not the, not is the the quality of instruction. That's what it is. It's not the instruction itself. It's the quality of instruction, the way they teach you it. Okay, the way they teach you the information, information. Okay, information. Okay, that's what it is.
they want to inform you and then they want to shun you. Isn't that what what's happening to you? Isn't that what happened to you in the in the, in the beginning? You know, they want to give you the information and then they you, you accept it and then they they shun you. Okay, you graduate next. Okay, here's your diploma next. That's what it is. Okay, that's exactly what it is. But in the beginning, you know, you already have an inborn ability that they try to hide from you. They try to get rid of it. Okay, they try to silence your brain to be able to control your inner decision-making process. Okay, they try to hijack your brain. They try to, you know, destroy your creativity. That's what it is. They're trying to shun creativity. Anything that's original, anything that's different, anything that's original and different here in America is shunned, man. America is, is probably fucking more communistic than fucking North Korea because these motherfuckers, they submit. You know, uh, they, they submit they voluntarily, man. At least in North Korea, in communist North Korea, there's people who are trying to escape, trying to fucking get the fuck out of there while out here everybody's trying to become a soy boy everybody's trying to fucking submit trying to become a rich role trying to become a fucking oh look at me oh i'm aging backwards oh bulletproof coffee oh look at me i'm a vegan oh i'm carnivore oh stupid faggots man stupid ass faggots insectoid animalistic beings you know, brainless motherfuckers, man. That's what it is, brainless motherfuckers. They they just give you the impression. They give you the impression of intelligence by memorizing shit, by regurgitating shit. The TV, you know, readily does that. Your computer readily does that. They're just acting like a fucking computer because they, they don't have any, they don't have the cojones to go out there and experience life for what it is. And they don't get, so, so that, that way they, they don't really they're not able to give you real genuine you know useful information practical information that you can use in your life okay look at the information that I give you here okay I told you how I told you uh, to learn how to cook I turned I told you to learn these simple skills like you know uh, basic mechanics you know auto mechanics or something like that by simply watching a video on YouTube or reading something online or making friends with somebody who's a you know mechanic or something like that you can learn the basics of mechanics okay so that way you don't have yeah you don't have to end up spending an enormous amount of money you know getting your car fixed or if you're when it when it comes to a lifestyle like you know learning how to cook the basics of cooking boiling this shit is easy boiling frying uh, grilling okay if you're not sure if the thing is cooked then monitor it. It's just just watch it the whole time, you know. Don't leave. Don't leave the fucking food. <laughs> don't don't let it burn and shit, man. You know. You see what I'm saying? So you know. So even this dude, fucking uh, Overstay Road, fucking Marco, Marcos and shit. He saw me in my old uh, YouTube video. You know, the reason why they deleted me on YouTube is because I started talking about this MGTOW shit and I went deep, you know. I went deep, I started cussing, you know. And I started posting cooking videos. So, you know, monkey see, monkey do, man. They saw me do this shit, okay. And then, you know, he, he, uh, he, he started cooking. And then also, uh, when I started posting my... Uh, My uh, GPS, my uh, Garmin uh, runs. Whenever I run, do a long run, I, I would you know record it on a GPS uh, watch, and then I upload the the thing on a on an app, on a Garmin app, and then I take a screenshot of it, and I upload a video of it here in the YouTube. And all of a sudden, you know, he talk he talks about running. Marco talks about Overstay Road starts starts talking about running. It's a, one of his videos. You know, uh, when he went to Thailand, he's like, oh, uh, run right here. He used to run right here back then. And, you know, uh, you know, I try to run right now. And then I, when I started talking about fasting, this dude starts talking about fasting. 
I fasted for four days. Oh, no, 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 no. But, but uh, I talked about fasting like last year. I don't know if you, you've been subscribed to me like last year on my older channel. <laughs> but, you know, I've been talking about, I experimented for like two weeks or something. You know, one meal a day. That's, that shit is fucking painful, man. One meal a day. It did work. Okay, it, it did fucking work, man. But that shit is fucking painful. You know what I'm saying? It's one meal a day. You're only eating dinner or lunch. Shit, man. And the rest of the time, you're just drinking water. Well, it, make, it makes you feel good, but man, you have to suffer. You know, in the beginning, you, you, have, you really have to suffer. Man. And I do think that's the key to life, you know, to living a healthy life. It really, you really have to, like, suffer a little bit. Well, not in pain. You, you don't have to be in pain, but you have to, like, punish your body. Like I said before, you know, you really have to punish your body. And also, when it comes to learning things, you know, society, uh, especially here in America, they have a tendency to make you want to specialize, you know, in something, uh, in college or something like that. And they, they, they throw you in a bunch of courses that has nothing to do with your major at all. So how, how exactly is that specializing in shit, you know? They want you to fucking do four years of a bachelor's shit before you even start fucking doing your specialization and stuff, man. It's fucking waste, waste of time and fucking money, you know? It's, it's based on bullshit. This, this fucking, this whole country is gonna fucking topple, man. Watch. People are gonna, gonna start getting tired of this shit. And a lot of men, I'm already convincing a lot of men to fucking, to leave and fucking relocate somewhere. You know, as soon as you get an income coming from the States, or coming from here, or Europe, or some shit. Euro, whether you, you're receiving Euro, or the dollar, it's time to get the fuck out, man. I don't know what the fuck you're still doing here, you know. Once you get your money on crypto, once you get an income coming in from your e-books, okay. And there's no shame in writing a book. You know, so what, you know. You're not a good author, so what. There's a lot of bad authors out there. I have better information that I can give you about the Philippines compared to these stupid-ass expats giving you bullshit advice about the Philippines. I lived in Philippines for 18 years, motherfucker. I speak Tagalog fluently, and I speak Kapampangan fluently. I even understand Ilocano and Visaya and some of the other languages and shit. I lived there for fucking 17 or 18 years, man. I was like 18 when I came to the States and shit. So, you know, these motherfuckers are telling me, like, whenever I comment on some of the uh, uh, expat videos and shit, the Philippine expat videos, they try to fucking block me and shit because I'm telling the truth. <laughs> I'm telling the fucking truth and a lot of these motherfuckers are fake and shit, man. They're just trying to make money off of you. That's why I told you if you, wanna, you want good, reliable information when it comes to the Philippines, just ask me. I'll, I'll fucking answer, you know. Filipino po ako. You see, you see what I'm saying? I'm fucking Tagalog, bro. I'm just an immigrant here, man. So I just happen to uh, learn how to speak English quickly because I'm INFJ. I learn things quick, you know. I'm a quick learner, learner and shit. That's why the military is perfect for me. I learn things quick like this, you know. I'm a big asset in the fucking team and shit, man. Once I go in on it, it's fucking, I'm all or nothing. It's like all or nothing and shit, man. There are times when I'm like fucking. Of course, I'm, since I'm human, okay. There's, there are times when my, my fucking my focus is off, and I think it's you know it's best for me to like actually take a break during that time because most of the time I'm like 110 percent on it and shit, man. That's why when I learned this fucking programming shit, and I think that that is the fucking uh, the main uh, raw definition of masculinity. Go all in, 110 percent, all in. You know, I know the percent thing is 100, like, you know, all these fucking soy boys, you know, they will tell you, oh, it's only 1%. There's no such thing as 200% or it's not even 110%. Oh, oh, soy boys. You see what I'm saying? It's Man, uh... The, the way people uh, do things nowadays is like, I don't know, maybe it's just me being in the military and actually, you know, applying myself and actually getting shit done quickly. That, you know, uh, 
for example, I told you I'm going to get my passport, right? So there you go. I, re I already got two passports. I can permanently move to the Philippines with no fucking hassle in the airport and shit. Since I now got the Philippine passport and the fucking US passport and shit, man. So you see what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm just putting it out there like, you know, w once I get in on something, I get shit done, man. I'm the, the kind of guy that's like, I can block the whole world and shit. Go zen on something, go focus on something. And then I accomplish it, okay? And that's it for this video. Peace out.